This is a grade 7 math practice test for T and Ready. On this version, this is question number 16. In the year 2010, the population of Kingsford was 8,000. Now, when your grandparents or parents, either one, depending on their age, saw this and thought the year 2010, they probably thought, man, we're going to have flying cars by then. This is going to be awesome. Nope, that never happened. Sorry, we were too busy trying to figure out ways to get more email notifications or to perfect dubstep. So now we're back on the whole flying car thing, but we're still way behind. Anyway, in 2010, the population of Kingsford was 8,000. By 2014, the population had increased by 15% and two-fifths of the population age, was age 12 or under. How many people in Kingsford were age 12 or under in the year 2014? It's two things to deal with here. First, we have to think about, okay, what's the increase in size mean to the overall population? And then we have to look at the sub-segment or I guess the segment, really, of the population that's 12 or under. The fact that 40% of your population is 12 or under is kind of crazy, really. But, um, you know, it's neither here nor there. I mean, good for them, a lot of young families. But the first thing I need to deal with is there is an increase in 15%. Now, there's a couple ways that you can go about doing this. The way that you can calculate the idea of 15% is converting percentage to a decimal and then multiplying. That's just the easiest way to get there. But the problem is you have to make sure you remember to add that number back on and you don't make a terrible mistake that you'll regret. Maybe spending too much time on dubstep, whatever it is. It's a mistake we all regret. Anyway, so 8,000. Now if I just want to find the increase, I'll do 8,000 times 0.15 because 15% decimal point starts here. You move it over two because 100 is a percentage. And that's kind of the, the percent base we're building things on. And this is a calculator allowed section. So let me bring my 1988, 1998 calculator. 1988. Might as well be. They used to give you free calculators at a bank. So I feel like this is it. I mean, I was very young when that happened, but that did happen. 1,200. So that is just the increase. So if I want to find, and you should always check, by the way, just to make sure I didn't click the wrong buttons. Yep, okay. Now from there, I need to add that increase back onto my 8,000. So total would be 8,000 plus 1,200, and that's 9, 2, 0, 0. There is another way that you can get this. If you want to do these steps in 1, you could say, okay, I want to work out a multiplication where I'm thinking about the 8,000 and I'm also considering the increase. Well, all you have to do there is say, well, 8,000, if you just want itself, you'd multiply that times 1, right, because we did multiplying here. And then you'd also multiply 8,000 times 0.15. Now, you can combine all that so it doesn't have to look so yucky. And all you do is just bring the 1 and the 0.15 together so you make it 8,000 times 1.15. So the 1 represents the 8,000 itself. I'm not getting rid of it. And the 0.15 represents the increase part altogether. You can do either one of those you want. And if you don't trust that it's going to give you the answer that I said, I can at least show you out of respect. There it is, 9,200. That's our ultimate goal. So I might make a note now that I have all this information. Right here. I might make a note that there are 9,200 total. Now to find my 12 or under people, that's 2 out of 5. A couple ways you can do that if you want to convert. Um, again, we're going to multiply, but if you want to do 2 divided by 5, you could do that. And you get 
And then you'll just do, remember how we multiplied 8,000 by 0 0.15 at one point? So you do 9,200 or 9,200, whatever you want to say. I'm not here to judge which one you choose to do. 3,000. 680. Another way you could do it is just you could put two fifths in parentheses if you want to do that. Or you could do 9,000 times 2, and then you're going to divide that whole thing by 5. I guess if I make the dot for multiply, I should make the x if I'm going to do this thing. So either one of those should give you the appropriate answer 9,200 times 2. Hit your equal sign there. Divide by 5 gives you 3680. So my choice answer here for number 16 is R. And because I don't want to make a mistake where I do all this work and it's very annoying to me that I make a mistake because I carry it over to the answer sheet incorrectly, I'm not holding that on to any sort of bitterness from when I was in school or anything. I'll write the letter R right here so that when I transfer it over, I don't make any mistakes. So don't go through all this work, get the answer correct, and then you miss it because it's on the answer form wrong. Trust me, you don't want to live with that. So there you go.